Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. Let's keep going and we are going to cover Amazon Translate. Again, Amazon Translate offers a translation service using deep learning and Amazon Translate offers multiple language translation so it makes it easier for corporates and content producers to localize content to any country. That's again pretty interesting. So if you wanted, for example, let's say if you have developed your website in the English language and you wanted to offer pretty much the same content of the website in, let's say, you know, French language, you can use Amazon Translate to do the translation for you and you will be able to basically kind of localize content in any different language. Pretty incredible. And Amazon Translate offers more natural, robust and accurate translation compared to basic rule-based translation methods. And basically, I'm going to show you a couple of examples and I actually tried it, you know, with, you know, different languages. Let's say that's French, the language at least that I, I kind of understand, which is, you know, French, uh, Arabic and so on. And I found that it's extremely natural and it's not like it's, it doesn't seem like there is a robot, robot on the other end. It seems like there is a professional translator on the other end. And that's what freaks me out, to be honest. All right. So what are the features? First, continuous performance improvement. Amazon Translate is based on deep learning and the algorithms are getting better every day as more data becomes available. Easy integration, Amazon Translate offers a simple API so it simplifies the process of building real-time applications. Customizable, so minimum need of editing by human translator, that's amazing because now you don't need basically what people used to do before, they, they used to, to use what we call a rule-based okay and you get like kind of word by word translation and it wasn't very natural it was just you know like like kind of very robotic and then you need to have a human translator that actually take that to the next level but the problem is once you hire human translator then you know the idea of having ai in general is, is just it's kind of useless i want to say useless it saved a little bit of time but again you still have to pay you know the human translator there is still more time involved and we basically want to get the human out of the loop as much as we can. So Amazon Translate offers customization features that allow you to select how to translate unique terms and try to minimize relying on human translator as much as you can. Easily scalable, Amazon Translate can be easily scaled and works with words, paragraphs and large scale documents as well. All right, what about use cases? So first, you can perform sentiment analysis on content with multiple languages, and you can perform real-time content translation. So by integrating Amazon Translate with Amazon Comprehend, again, I guarantee you with almost 99.99% confidence that you will find th these type of questions on the AWS machine learning certification exam. Basically, the exam tests you on your understanding of these different services and how to integrate all of these services together. So for example, here we are going to integrate Amazon Translate to perform the translation. And then once you translate, then you can apply Amazon Comprehend so you can get critical information about your customers, such as reviews, are they happy or not with your product and so on. And that could be done by using Amazon Translate to convert from any language to English and then run Amazon Comprehend or NLP application to make sentiment analysis prediction based on the English language. Okay, again, pretty amazing. Another use case is to perform real-time content translation. In real-time, Amazon Translate can translate content such as feed stories, news and comments, and by relying on English-speaking workforce only to address customers' Q&A, you can basically leverage Amazon Translate to provide real-time translation to chat and email from any language to English. Basically, you only hire, you don't need to hire, you know, like dual, for example, like, um, like um, speaking employees. You don't need to have employees who speak English and French. You just hire employees who speak English, who might be, you know, like cheaper per se, and then use Amazon Translate to trans translate from any language into English, and they will be able to understand and answer the Q&A and all the real-time by leveraging the real-time capabilities of Amazon Translate. Again, I highlighted this here in red because this is quite important. Use cases from, uh, for the AI, high-level high AI machine learning services such as Amazon Translate, most likely you will see on the AWS machine learning exam. 
All right, as you guys can see, you can simply, when you open Amazon Translate, that's what it looks like. You can select whatever language you want, the target language and the source language. Here we have English, for example. And here I translated, let's say, you know, Udemy um, translation, Udemy uh, text here from Wikipedia. And I'm reading it here in Arabic. And I can tell you, you know, it's actually pretty incredible. It's very, 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 um, I would say, um, natural. And you, you feel like there is an actual, you know, translator on the other side who has been able to do that for you. Again, pretty amazing. Please try it, you know, for any language you, that you are familiar with. And, you know, give it a shot. It's pretty, pretty fun. All right. And that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we are going to cover Amazon Transcribe. So please enjoy AWS Machine Learning Certification course. And I will see you guys in the next lecture.